All right, what's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. So, I'm out on a boat on a lake today. I had a very tough morning fishing. Caught five pike in five hours, which ain't easy um, on this place anyway. So they're not really switched on. So for some reason, I'm gonna try something even harder now. And I'm gonna fish with stuff in this box. And what's in this box is lures that I've found while I've been out fishing. So every single lure in this box I found in trees on the bottom of rivers out of snags and stuff so yeah it should be interesting there's actually some decent lures in there but it'll be interesting to see if we can make them work today so yeah I'm gonna stop talking and show you guys what's in this box pick a lure out to start and then we're gonna catch a fish hopefully or a few fish We've got quite a few hours of fishing I wouldn't mind catching like four or five fish on these so yeah try to take a few lures off and yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start fishing. All right guys, let's see what I wanna start with. Everything's rigged kind of weirdly in this. I might start with this. Classic, Westin, slim. Chartiz, I think this is. Found this on the bottom of a lake. This thing is a lot small, but yeah. Found that on the bottom of a lake, just sat there. <laughs> um, I was actually in a video that last March, I think I found this. I found two shad tees. The other one's in the box as well, so. See if we can catch them both of them. It's pretty bright color. Bright colors can work well on this lake though, so. Yeah, I'm gonna fan cast this round where I start here. Cause I've just, literally just lost a fish before I started filming this. Uh, it looks quite nice actually. Yeah, we'll fan cast this around and then we will start drifting and Find some fish. I've got a few lures to work through. Super bright. I'm <laughs> not sure how that'll work. I've not really tried a bright one yet today. So, bright might be good. Obviously, what I was using earlier was the 12 sent me a drunk bait, which is pretty similar profile to this, and that's what I was getting. Probably had contact with 20 pike, so I'm pretty confident this will work. Wind's actually dying down a bit. It was super windy this morning, but it's calmed down a bit now, so fishing might be a little more bearable. And we have crystal clear water as well, so this color might not have been the best one to go with. No way, that was straight on it. <laughs> that was so quick. Okay, maybe it's an alright colour. First one, actually hooked. Boom, leader touched. <laughs> Found in the bottom of a river one year ago and it has just been demolished by this jack. I'm gonna have to get my pliers on that. Oh, maybe that's where I've been going wrong this morning, not using bright enough colours. But yeah, it's only like a 50 cent centimetre fish, but that's so cool. Here we go. Boom, first found lure. 50 centimeter pipe. He's still got leeches on him, so they're definitely sat on the bottom. See you, bro. Oh, just chilling. <laughs> but yeah, crazy. That nailed it straight on. I might do a few more casts with this. That was third cast. Small fish, like I say, but I'll take them. Boom, big hair. So first found lure is ticked off. Like I said, I'm doing a couple more casts with this just for fun, basically. And then we'll uh, change to another one that I found. Got quite a few similar sized shads to be fair. So it's mainly what we'll try to use first because that's what's been working the best today. Surprised how well the bright one works though. Obviously, bright sunshine, clear water, you don't expect it, but... Let's change it up. Got this other shad tease that was found on the same day at the same spot. Um, so I got part of the wire leader on that. I'm going to take the jig head off this one though, because it, the gape on it is freaking huge. As you can see. And... I don't know how he uh, thought that was a good gate for the hook, but yeah, we're going to put this small one on there. 
why not right doesn't look like it's had any fish on it so we might be able to christen it for whoever it belongs to but yeah i found this definitely found this on camera last year actually i remember now both on the same spot probably lost by the same guy so yeah lure number two another shad sees let's uh see how long it takes for this one to get munched again very similar profile to what i've been using all day and what tends to work on this place at this time of year take the easy ones off first right There we go, another one. That's another small fish, but another one on the Chatees, baby. That was a slow hit then. But it's a goddamn fish, I think it's small. Ooh, maybe better. Oh, it's better than the last one, that's for sure. It's not a big fish, but it's better. <laughs> yes. Come here, baby, I need to get a leader touch on you. That was quick again. Wow, shad tease number two, leader touch. Oh, he barely hooked. Oh, nearly got a hook in my finger. He's so barely. Oh, there he goes. As I was saying, he's barely hooked. It was like nicked just in the corner of his mouth. Okay, that's two lures, super quick. Both shad tees, so you know they work. Easy, easy bait to use. You can do three more casts with this. Like I said, let me just put it on. And then we're going to swap to another shad. I've got, I've got another shad tease in the box as well that I've found. But, yeah, I'll try something different. I have another shad similar size. I've got another few shad similar size, actually, that I'll try. That was cool, though. Two fish, so quick. Let me see. I've been filming for 12 minutes. Like, this is complete, like, virgin ground for today. I've not fished any of this bit, so maybe I've just dropped on where the fish are stacked. I've had these baits sat, like I say, these ones are a year old. I've got, I've had some that I've had for over 10 years that I've found. A lot over the last like four or five years. Um, but yeah, I've not used any of them. And yeah, cool, they work. Maybe Bright's what I should have been using all day. So they seem to take that well. We're gonna change baits anyway. We're gonna go for this one. There's no rig on this, this is a copy toe. The hook was, um, rusted out on it that's why there's no hook tail's a bit bad found this in a whirlpool uh two years ago now not sure if i got that on video or not i was perch fishing and basically hooked a load of line and pulled this in from like the middle of the river from that was like stuck in some rocks so yeah a river bait this time not a lake bait another shad style bait a little smaller maybe that's about the same about 12 centimeters copa toes everyone loves them Oh, well, they did in the olden days. Not sure people use them that much now, but yeah, we'll get this a cast. See if we can get bait number three ticked off. Oh man, nothing in the bays. Back in the open water then. Leave this copito on. Probably put a, one of these on for trolling up. Actually, let me see what we've got. Yeah, I might put this on and troll up before we start a new drift. Won't film that. Found this in a tree on the river. Um, like really high up in a tree. <laughs> so let's see how this uh, works. Uh, that should be all right. Floating as well, which is good. Yeah, we'll try this. Troll up a little bit with this one until we get to uh, where we're gonna drift again and we'll do a big open water drift again, so yeah. Guys, guys, just trolling up, just about to get to the top of the drift. I'm gonna start. Anna Pike has taken the Savage Gear, tiny one. But <laughs> there's another bait ticked off. I wasn't even expecting anything on the drift then. Oh, oh, oh. Easy player. But yeah, on the four player, I think they're called. I'm just about to start the drifter on this area because I missed a fish here this morning. Not this one, it was a better one. But yeah, there we go, a little 50. So that's another bait ticked off. Savage Gear 4 Play version 2. And I've decided while I was coming up, actually, I'm going to stick another Savage Gear on. And that's the soft 4 Play. Actually, found this one on this lake. 
and uh, yeah, it should work. It didn't have any rigging. I just like found a loose body of shad on the bottom. So I have no idea how that happened, but yeah, we're gonna start to drift around here anyway. Try not hook that boy. Try something else. Try this fox one. I found this the same place I found those two shatties I used already. I don't think it was the same person. It was the other side of the lake, but I found it on the same day. Oh man, that sinks super fast, but it looks pretty good. I'll give it a go. It's a little sharp bait, but nice and stocky. They might like it. There we go. Oh no! That took on a pause then. <laughs> Okay, this will work as well. Damn. Oh, he's behind. Oh, it's a big fish. No. No, that was a good fish, that. He freaking followed it back. Oh, man. No. Why don't we just lose the good ones? That was a nice one. It followed it right back to the boat. And just scarp it. God damn. Should check those hooks, actually. That top one's blunt as hell. Holy cow, quickly shut them out. Feel like I should take this one off, seeing as I basically had a fish on it. Well, I had a bite on it. Um, <laughs> but it's got the bluntest hook in the world. But then again, I kind of keep wanting to use it because I know it works. Might just do another. I've got another shad tease. They're very easy to rig up oh I just lost another fish no way I took it again no that hook's too blunt I hit it twice then damn it damn it damn it damn it damn it damn it yeah that hook way too blunt way 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 too blunt damn 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 but the hook that top hook is completely rusted out the bottom oh no that was maybe though that one got off the treble broke. Friggin' rusty. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put a shad tease on. That one definitely works, like I say. Plenty of hits. We're gonna go with this one. This one I found in a tree on the River Trent. I was under fishing, saw this in a tree couldn't resist doing some casts to snag it and i did yeah nice looking bait it did have a jig head on it um i must have took it off and used it for something else but yeah it definitely had a jig head on it when i found it very popular learn like i say 12 centimeter same size of basically what i've caught all the fish on today so we know it works one eternity later. Yo, that was a cool as hell hit. <laughs> oh, he nailed that right on the surface. Yo, buddy. I've got you. You have inhaled that bait. <laughs> a little touch. There's number four. Four baits ticked off. That boy has choked, choked that bait. Just annihilated it on the surface then. <sighs> Look at that. Might have took a while to find a fish, but when I found one, he, yeah, made it clear that he was hungry. <laughs> I say it's well hooked, it's barely nicked in with the stinger actually. So, boom, another bait ticked off. Another fish. Got a little bit of spawning wound on him, but not much, so I'm still not sure whether they're spawned or not. But that is a, another fish. Four baits now, three of them might have been shad tees, but, but they were all found. So, yeah. I pretty much can count that, whatchamacallit, bait, fox one. Mix it up a little bit, try a completely different style of lure. I'm not sure if it'll work, but we'll try it. This is going to be the first lure 
I ever found as well. Over 10 years ago, I found this. It's a Rapala. Found it in a pond in my hometown, stuck in a tree, uh, a submerged tree, like a stuck on a lay down. Ended up getting it off. Give it a new paint job, uh, some new hooks, and yeah. Not sure what Rapala is, like super old, I imagine. Jerk bait, I think. Hopefully it doesn't run too deep and it should be decent on this spot, I think. We'll, uh, we'll see. Give it some upward twitches anyway, just in case it digs down. Hi guys, just cracked off, um, which I hate. If you saw the last video that I filmed here, I cracked off on the last cast of that as well. So yeah, that's gonna end it. Four fish landed. Missed two, all on found lures though. So yeah, pretty cool. No, none of the like random found lures, but you know, nice to catch on found lures. Nice little challenge, obviously difficult. I could have caught more fish if they were switched on, which they weren't, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the equipment I've used, not the lures, cause like they were all found but I told you what they were anyway. <laughs> the equipment I've used apart from that rod, reel, everything will be in the description as always. Just using the 14 to 42 gram rod father for this entire video pretty much. And yeah, that is gonna do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. <sighs> Camera's basically out of memory. So just gonna fish the last few hours of the day for myself. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.